You are worthy, and no one will worship you for me. For all the things you have done for me, and no one will worship you for me. Receive my worship, all of my worship. This is my worship, all of my worship. And I will not be silent, I will always worship. As long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. Yes, Lord. And I'm just about to step out to go worship you in fellowship with the saints in church, right? And uh, you want me to do this vlog before I leave to share my experience and encourage someone it's a testimony actually um so just have your way holy spirit come on help your girl it's all about you darling jesus and it's in your mighty name that i pray amen okay well my special tribe i hope everyone is doing well yeah this vlog it's a brief one i'm actually standing as close to my door as i could so that i don't talk too much <laughs> it's about um yeah um thanking the lord for how far he has brought me with regards to um, going to church, um, you know, the devil tries to trick us with all kinds of, of, you know, tricks, trials, temptations, and temptations in particular. Uh, there was a time when I didn't go to church for like three years because I had gone through some church abuse and everything. And then, well, the Lord, the Holy Spirit convicted me and and they started to renew my mind. Jesus started to renew my mind about going to church and what it was all about so um nope it wasn't a social gathering for me anymore it wasn't even just to go and mark my name and all of that it was an appointment a public rendezvous like a date with god like god the father god the son god the holy spirit and um it was like no we were not just i wasn't just jesus's bride in the room i was his bride everywhere and he likes it when i go worship him in fellowship um, with the brethren and uh, I mean he's imprinted it on me so much so that I I wake up on Saturday at midnight with my church we do this workers gathering preparing the service for today and every other thing and whether I am you know leading or sharing or doing anything I'm a worker so and it's very important for me that um, our services go well and and we, we we come against all those um, guys and and whatever distractions of the devil and everything and so when you really look at it that way i don't think you would have much time to notice the dynamics and the gymnastics that go on in church is an institution by human beings so there will be dynamics and gymnastics and who said what and who didn't say what and who, 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 do, 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 do. actually i'm just like this today because my lover asked me to dress like this like this uh, what i don't know whether they call it fascinator or the cap or the hat or something for me that's like too much but well if he wants that let me put it on uh, am i going on a date alone no i'm going on a date with him and he has every right to show his bride off <laughs> so yeah that's what i wanted to share and i really pray that it's going to touch somebody's heart in a special way to um, think about going to church this way and not the other way and if you haven't been going why not start again right and discover the beauty of it all may the good lord bless us all may we have a wonderful sunday in the name of jesus i have prayed amen remember don't be silent about it right <laughs>